isn't social distancing in Southport, is it? This isn't what social distancing is in Southport. It's against no, the law. Go on. It's against the law. No, I know my law. I know my law. Yeah, because I go to students. I'm a university so student who's I. doing law. Well, so I know it. Business. Well, good for you. It's against Can the you law. stand two metres away from can me? Can I please have the police here as soon as possible, as this sir is actually recording me. Imagine you're going to have children. I'm trying to get attacked here. You're not trying to get attacked. No, they're trying to look at her. Recording me and my children yeah, because you're, you, you're harassing this lady, and this isn't social She's distancing. And we've got me. a piss head here. Look at it. This this is Southport. I know. Yeah, it's I won't against put the law. It's against the law. It's, I know the law. You don't know the law. I it's against the law to record Listen, someone. Listen, I'll shut You're your mouth. I'll shut children. your mouth. It's not your children. American evangelists who haven't had an offering in a month, missionaries who haven't had an offering in a month, music ministers who haven't had an offering in a month. I'm donating my entire stimulus, $1,200. My wife is donating her stimulus, $1,200. My son is donating his stimulus, $600. Hashtag Pastor Spell Stimulus Challenge. If you don't have a church, give through my website, www ltcbr.com Larry Tango Charlie Baton Rouge.com I'm here on the Mississippi River I'm here at Red Stick Baton Rouge Hashtag Pastor Spell Stimulus Challenge Hey everybody I just wanted to say for the people that are judging me because I went to the store and I did not like how they were talking to the married couple and then how they talk to me it's not right y'all can think that that's right if you want to that's your opinion my opinion it's not everybody that is getting their information from all these news channels y'all need to get y'all's information from other news channels that ain't in with trying to take down trump and everything else that is all this is about the virus is man-made by China. It's all been done for a reason. Pretty sure I've done had the virus since I worked for the Postal Service, and I've been getting packages from Wuhan, China, ever since, like, November. I got sick in last of January. Sickest I've ever been. Put me on the couch for 14 days, but I didn't go to the doctor. I made it just fine. I wound up getting a Z-Pack later on. And then, but I mean, I got better. It took me a whole entire month to get better. And I'm a sickly person and I didn't go on a respirator. So, I mean, y'all need to get y'all's information from other sources besides what y'all are getting it from and stop attacking people. There's no need of attacking anyone. It's just because the media has you so scared and that's why you're attacking people. We cannot live this way. And y'all know it. We cannot live this way. Are you going to stay in your house for the rest of your life and just sit there? No, you're not. Eventually, you're going to get tired of sitting in your house trying to run from this virus that ain't even a biggest deal as what they've been making up. If all these people are coming in and out of Walmart all the time, they're not wearing face masks, 
there's not that many people sick, y'all. I have been to different hospitals. We have been around to different ones. They're not that busy. And y'all can attack me if you want to. If y'all are so scared, I'm telling you what you need. You need Jesus. Because I'm telling you, he's the only one that can take care of any of this. And y'all can still get mad about that or whatever. I mean, I am, I'm a God-fearing person. I love Jesus more than anything. I put him first in my life. He has healed my back. He has healed my body of so many things. And if you only pray to him and accept him as your Lord and Savior, he will protect you from this. It's all plain and simple. You, If you have the Holy Spirit living in you, you're protected. All you have to do is rebuke a virus. That's all you have to do. Jesus can take care of it. But I'm telling you, don't be judging me. Don't talk bad about me because I don't like people being talked down to. I'm a mail carrier. I work with people every day. I've been a hairdresser for 20-something years. I've never been mean to a certain anyone. If somebody's having a bad day, I try to lift them up. Lift them up as much as I can. I'm always nice to everyone. I'm a little bit irked right now just because the way that this one lady has lashed down at me. But you know what? That's okay. Her telling me I need Jesus. I know I need Jesus. I ask for Jesus every day in my life. But I'm not judging her for jumping on me. And she has no right to jump on me whatsoever. And I'm not jumping back on her. But before you tell me that I need Jesus, look at yourself. Look at yourself and what you're writing and talking to somebody and downing them before you start judging. I'm not judging you, lady. I don't judge anyone. It's not my place. That's God's place. But now, if you want to live in fear, you stay in your little house. Don't come out. People not need to stop running around and fussing about everybody else that has to go to town. As you can see, I've got children back here that is in the back. I have to feed them. They're my grandbabies. I have to feed them. You want me to sit at home, not go get groceries, and let them starve to death? Well, you know what? That is not never going to happen. I will not starve my grandchildren or my children to death. I have an autistic son I have to take care of on top of him, plus an autistic brother I have to take care of. And I'm not going to sit in the house while everybody wants to harp and run their mouth and say how these people do not need to go get groceries or anything else. And then when you go to a store to be yelled at by a cashier. Now, this is ridiculous. Now, y'all need to get y'all source from somewhere else, or y'all need to turn y'all back to God and pray about it and ask him to help you with this because you're not going to get sick if you got God because you can rebuke it. Many of y'all don't believe in that. Maybe not. But if you have the Holy Ghost, I'm telling you, and he lives inside of you, and if you've been baptized by fire, you've got some power. And I've got some power. I can rebuke just about anything that comes on me, and it will go away. Now, I didn't rebuke the virus because I was just too sick to even rebuke. But when I got a little bit better, I did. And a virus cannot live in you. If you rebuke it in the name of Jesus and tell it to leave your body, it will go. But you got to have faith for it. And honey, I got lots and lots of faith. And I'm hoping, oh, y'all, I've never had, y'all know I don't never go live. This is something I don't do. But I feel convicted that these people that's jumping on people, there is no need of it. No need of it whatsoever. Get y'all's facts right before you start jumping on
打三个九了，没有办法，一到这样子，哇，你看，哇，哎，等一下。